Uh, back again? It's almost as if I never left. I made my Twitter look like an OnlyFans promotional page. Look at this. <laughs> I made it look like, uh, like I was an OnlyFans model. I had this idea like early morning, just like for some reason. So I made just all of it look like, oh, negative 1% of OnlyFans. I have heard that having your Twitter like this can affect you with sponsorships, but I'm of course not expecting sponsorships where I am right now as a streamer. So I'm gonna keep it like this for a while. And I wonder if I can convince anyone that I'm actually like an OnlyFans model. Huh, neat. So this is the uh, random Reddit post generator. I made, this, I made this myself, check it out. Made professionally by Dogman, baby. I unearthed some of my programming skills from college, even though I forgot most of it. And that was only after I tried programming this, and then I called some of my actual programming colleagues who actually like do it for a living. And so they helped me out with like the majority of this code. So basically what this is, is as it says right here, click this button to be sent to a random Reddit post that was made in the last 24 hours. This is sort of my, not cure all, but sort of sidestepping of the current culture on Reddit. If any of you have used Reddit, and I've only casually used it, Reddit seems to promote a culture of sameness and like just constant regurgitation of the same opinion. There's not much just difference or newness on Reddit. So this is sort of my like way to sidestep that. So instead of seeing the same subreddits, the same posts, the same opinions, you get to explore new posts and in a way, new subreddits, which is technically a second thing I'm gonna do as well. I'm gonna do random Reddit posts and then random subreddits as well. But this is sort of like a catch all of both of those things. Also, this can act as like, you know, cheap, you know, pedestrian react content instead of TikTok. It's, oh, Reddit. Everyone loves Reddit. All right, first post is r slash oddly specific. Wonder what happened here. Renting out house with two bedrooms, one bath. $1,000, no dogs, no students, no parties, no animals. No young unmarried couples who are just going to fight and break up then leave a mess. No nothing. Matter of fact, I don't even want to rent anymore all y'all can go to hell you obviously had renters if you ever owned a rental property you'll no longer be shocked at the insane disgusting things that people can do to a house i don't think i've ever had that issue i've never even rented an, uh, an airbnb hotels are always my go-to thing just the idea of staying inside someone's house staying inside a living space that's owned by someone else just makes me feel uncomfortable all right neat r slash fifa card creators icon shapeshifters zlatlan concept psd and comments oh this is like the fifa soccer games i can't imagine who still plays these games because given the history of ea sports or like the ea company they make terrible games like every fifa game is the same every um madden game is the same but yet people still play this why r slash rbi not gonna give too many details in case it will compromise anything can anyone identify the car and license plate or maybe clarify some images basically a house was vandalized that forfeited a family safety. They did nothing. If anyone could clarify or identify this vehicle, it would help us a lot. I'm not gonna show the vehicle just because that's kind of weird. Okay, chat, can you identify this car? Like who, who can, who, what details can you suss from this? Honda Accord with custom suspension. <laughs> Tay Tay, you said that with such confidence, I almost believed you. You can't tell anything from this, but hopefully this person who needs a car identified gets it, I guess. The Reddit Bureau of Investigation used the power of the internet to solve real world problems. I'm pretty sure there's a thing like that called the police, but okay, sure. R slash Pokemon home. Giving away any of these Pokemon fear two hours after posting. Only thing you can have is the Arceus. I need to trade that back to someone. Give always Arceus is the only thing that won't be given away. Okay, the person who made this is 14 years old. The amount of spelling errors is just amazing. This was posted one minute ago though. All right, next post. R slash girls cracking nuts. Wait, what? Kick to his balls because that's where the physical differences between men and women really count. First off, the psychological impact of such a moment can't be understated. For a woman, there's a certain subversive glee in turning the tables on a man who, y up until that moment, seemed untouchable. It's not just about the physical act, it's the shock value, the surprise, the sudden shift in power dynamics, as you bend towards me helplessly <laughs> Okay, so that was an AI video demonstrating the efficacy of kicking a guy in the balls. That's what I gathered from all that. Sign me up, man. No, you shouldn't want that. She would kick the shit out of you. You can join ball busting AI if you want to. Uh, that's not my kind of thing. No, it's not an ad. It's just, it's, it's called r slash girls cracking nuts. Videos of girls ball busting guys. So I guess technically it's not porn, but it's suggestive in nature. Ball busting AI. Discover the future of ball busting. I gotta stop saying that word. That's the last time I will say that word. Okay, that's it. We're done. Next, next post. r slash demons tilt. 
Demon's Tilt on EGS, now with Epic Game Store achievements. You've been asking forever, and I finally got them pushed live into the store. The EGS version should have Epic Game Store achievements right now. The official subreddit to discuss anything and everything Demon's Tilt, aka the best pinball game ever. That's great. Chat. Demon's Tilt on EGS now, on the Epic Game Store. Achievements. Leave a comment. Okay, what do I, what do I comment? I mean, I, I do, I do love pinball games. Comment, I don't know. Okay, I don't know but neat you know i'm gonna upvote downvote the next post that's just mean for no reason why r slash spark driver how to send your spark complaints to walmart hqc comments pro tips venting and complaining about spark to the sub will have even more power if you can also post complaints so that walmart corporate sees it how can you do that you ask well it turns out that almost everyone in the higher up positions at walmart including the ceo lives in the area of Bentonville, Arkansas. So I recommend posting in groups on Facebooks like this one. The more people that can complain and expose Walmart in the Bentonville area, the better. If we can get this done on a daily basis, eventually the whole town will know. And pretty much everyone that lives in Bentonville is dependent on Walmart for their income, either directly or indirectly. Overall, posting here can make you feel better, but it's a bit like preaching to the choir. We need to make our voices heard. Okay. <laughs> Reply with your complaints. <laughs> Okay, so what do you mean spark? What does that mean? Like a spark plug? Okay, you know what? I'll comment. Same. My spark has been having some issues lately, and I will make sure the CEO sees my grievances directly. Okay, I, I made my comment. It's so dumb. That was certainly the most, like, specific post I've seen so far. All right, next post. R slash ask mechanics. Found large oil leak signs at my filter cap. Car is a Benz 2010 E50 550 two door. I recently had been getting some intermittent oil level lights, but I thought it was the oil additive. I put in that kind that fluctuates between hot and cold. I finally check it, check, and it was about 1.5 quarts low. And I noticed a large oil leak residue on the side of the oil filter housing and all the way down the engine. It looks like it starts right at the oil filter cap. Any idea what would cause this? The cap seems secure. I twisted it by hand and it didn't loosen. The car has been having what I felt like a mini misfire sometimes for almost two years now. And I don't throw any codes and nobody has been able to diagnose it it does seem to be getting worse with time though i have no idea <laughs> i'm not a car guy i have no idea tell him to wreck his car dude it's a benz 2010 e550 that sounds like a pretty premium car but again for me i know nothing about cars i don't care about cars in any regard so i have no idea you can get a good insurance claim on it probably that's one of the reasons i i don't like cars reddit <laughs> I almost said Reddit insurance. Car insurance is terrible. Like it's a terrible thing to like manage and deal with. But Reddit insurance? Well, well that's that's where the money is. Chat, make sure you have Reddit insurance. Next post. R slash contagious laughter. I want this woman in my life. She's not missing a single one. When did I'm not watching a video that has a gore in it? Like I hope, like I hope you get that. Is what Israel and what? Is there a soccer team playing? That was pretty impressive. Not a single can missed. The protagonist of the last video game you played is teleported to the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Can they survive? The last video game, video game I played was Dark Man. And you can definitely survive Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Most definitely, you can. My Roblox character is surviving this fur fur. No, they're not. My character, Dark Man, he most definitely is. Because he's, um, he's amazing, he knows how to... Yeah. Punch and kick and stuff. He looks cool. Okay, yeah, of course, Goku. Yeah, surviving this. Arc Survival Ascended. Do the animatronics should be the ones hiding. Trevor GTA 5 should be interesting. Dead by Daylight doesn't have a protagonist. I play Dredge. Dredge would just eat them. Batman from Arkham Knight. Freddy's about to go down. Doom Slayer. The real question is can they survive? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Liam Neeson, Dark Man. I'm surprised you know that, Wounded. Dark Man, like from the video game and the movies. He would survive Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. I've yet to see the movie. I bought the trilogy box set and I'm gonna watch that one day. I'm hoping to like get a girlfriend so that I can watch it with her, all three movies back to back to back. So it's gonna be a challenge to do that. And then, then that'll 
make, make our bonds form even stronger, like a damn covalent bond or ionic bond. Which one is stronger? I'm pretty sure a, a covalent bond is stronger than ionic bond. This guy went to university, by the way. Yeah, I'm just showing off my knowledge. God forbid a streamer talks with some kind of like eloquence and some manner of intelligence. God forbid I mention, oh, something in the field of biology or chemistry instead of just saying, hey, chat, fur fur ong, dude, that, that, she, dude, he has riz on God. I I'm gonna keep a stack with you, chat. You know, on God, you know, like all that. No, I have some intelligence. I will show it off occasionally. Are you a left or right Twix guy? I eat both Twixes. Why, why do I need to choose left or right? I'm going to eat both Twixes. So, you know what? Left or right Twix, I'm ambidextrous. R slash Manchester Street. I'm curious. I frequently pick up the prostitutes that roam Manchester Street. Is there any other hotspots for <laughs> prostitutes? I'm not interested in meeting up with people from the internet. I like picking them up from the street. What is this? Yeah, this is a guy talking about picking up prostitutes somewhere. So I, I don't do prostitutes, so I don't know. No, I don't use a bidet. Whenever, I think I mentioned this before, but my process for butt cleaning is I do my business, I use baby wipes, and then I take a shower to ensure total anal cleanliness. If you only use toilet paper after going number two, your butt is still dirty. You gotta thoroughly clean that thing. Yeah, so that's, that's the thing. You have to ensure the booty hole is squeaky clean. That's the point. Either using my two-step method or using a bidet. But then after that, there's an optional method of scents. You can spray scented stuff in there to make sure not only is your butthole clean, but it smells nice if you're expecting, you know, company back there. So it just it depends how thoroughly you want to go with it. Though the wipes his ass before taking a shit. No, I don't. I don't at all. Oh yeah, next post. Putin pushes for Russian rival to PS5 and Xbox game consoles. In Russia, console plays you, comrade. Vladimir Putin is making a console? Interesting. You heard about console wars and need to get in there. Ah yes, the Bl Blyat Station 5. The brutalist Russian game console made out of concrete with PS2 level graphics. I didn't know that. I don't know. Why would Putin want to make a video game console? What's the point? R slash karma for free. Upvote this post. A place to earn karma? Be sure to read the rules before posting. So it's literally just a place to post something and just get karma. I'm actually downvoting this. This is stupid. It should have zero or negative one karma. All right, next post. R slash two hot takes. My boyfriend of four years came out as gay. How to move on. I 22 F have been with my boyfriend 21m for four years we'll call him tim tim had come out to me as gay a couple of days ago he had seemed to come out of the blue and when he had told me i was incredibly shocked i mean naturally i did not get mad i did not yell i was mainly just confused of course i was upset and still am but he is still my best friend i don't want to lose my friendship with him just because of this i mean yeah, because at that point you'll be seen as like a homophobe he says he, that he still cares for me deeply and loves me just in a platonic way i do believe him when he says that i just want to know how to move on how am i supposed to separate my emotions from being in love to loving him as a friend this is still very fresh and i don't expect to be over him anytime soon but i want to be able to go about my day without having a breakdown how to move on from anything is to take a walk good one comrade oh you do yeah i love walks too walks are the greatest easiest exercise you can have or like do in your day you take one hour out of your day to just go for a walk and come back it's great i love walks also, bicycling. I love bicycling. -ing. Additional info. Me and Tim have lived together for three years. We also have a dog we adopted together. Ah, oh, damn. That's even worse. When a couple gets a pet together, that's like them training to like have a child. But what's even it's even more heartbreaking they adopted the the dog together so there's even like more emotional investment in that i'm very close to tim's family to the point where i neglected my own for a while which i didn't do on purpose they just don't live in the same town they suddenly felt like my own and now it feels like they've been ripped away from me i also have moved out i'm now living with my dad a town over but it does cause me to commute a lot for my job in school sorry if this post is everywhere this is my first post let's laugh I don't want to laugh at her. She's like, lost her boyfriend because he came out as gay. Man, how to move on? I cannot be more separated from a scenario. I mean, it is what it is. As I say, that's like the that's like the one true motto you can follow. Yeah, but still take a walk. Go on long walks, one hour. No, it's not your fault. He was gay long before he met you. And it is what it is. Watch all the streams. Yeah, do that too. I'll help you get over your gay boyfriend. I feel like I have, I've heard something like this before. 
Could be a copy pasta. I don't, I don't know. It seems like a pretty unique scenario. Although I have heard of scenarios in which guys will pretend to be gay to get out of their relationships with a woman. Suddenly realize they don't like the woman anymore. A drastic measure is that they will proclaim themselves to be gay to get out of the relationship. Why are you talking like they're listening? Because they can. The people who made this post are currently watching the stream right now. That's why. Yeah, so listen. Chain number 101. You gotta just go on long walks. Watch a Daldemet live stream and remember that it is what it is. Were they fucking though? Be because that makes it worse. Dude, they adopted a dog together, Chris. That's even that's even more emotionally bonding than just having sex. Sex is just mechanical organ smashing. Having a dog adopting it together, that is that's that's emotion right there. Must be at least bi. That's just mad going from one to another like that. Yeah, see, like, yeah, that jump is kind of extreme. Even I can't imagine just making that jump from, mm, yes, I like nice women smelling boobies and all that. Nope. Nope. Wait a second. I like penis. Yeah, no longer boobies. Yep. I'm making that transition. So he just ended up not finding her attractive one day. It, se it seemed like it just happened so drastically. Yeah. Went from liking women just to liking men. I'm assuming he must have like such a powerful dream, like a wet dream. Like he like he was in bed with this with his girlfriend sleeping one day and he had, he had such a, an intense, powerful wet dream about a naked dude. And he was like, oh man, I gotta give me some penis. Oh man, how am I supposed to tell her? How am I supposed to tell her? That's, that's the only way I can rationalize it. R slash mildly interesting. My grandparents get free internet because they allowed it then ISP to build an antenna on one of their silos. A lot of rural cities around me do this. They give the city hall department free internet and phone for exchange of putting antenna in the tower. That is indeed mildly interesting. R slash PC master race. Oh my God. I've heard this phrase before about PC master race. I hate people like this and this phrase. I'm a believer definitely more of consoles. I like consoles way more than PC. I'm a believer in equal entertainment. You pussy ass centrist. You disgust me. Too much of a bitch to have an opinion. Asus Zenbook Pro Duo 2060 with an i9 and 32 gigabytes of RAM. I was getting awful performance attempting to spread managed democracy so i was advised to crack her open are these the ones who all they care about is graphics and yeah that, that's the one thing i always hear about the when they say pc master race they talk about like frame rates and and rtx and ryzen and amd and intel and like oh my god the beauty of a console is that it's just it it's just a console you put in the disc you put in the cartridge and that's it with pcs you have it's graphical fidelity and internet access and v-sync and anti-aliasing and I, I still have no idea what anti-aliasing even means i see that in the graphics settings of every single video game don't know what it means motion blur 180 frame rate it's 170 megahertz monitor whatever like fuck. you say you're the master race yet you have the most like fragile construction of features. I'm not getting personal. I, I am seriously breaking down why this claim is stupid. I feel sorry for PC people, yet they have so much to worry about and to focus on. Console will always be better than PC. Always. R slash be amazed. Actual size of a pelican's mouth. Yeah, it's like you're turning it like inside out. That's a big mouth. Looks like its mouth is giving birth to another mouth. <laughs> like a damn xenomorph. Just like my ex. All mouth and no head. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. R slash me IRL. I thought that was like mural. You, me, us, IRL, Reddit style. My parents in the 1980s. Let's move closer to a city so we can raise a family. It'll be easier to find work. Me in 2024. We need to get as far away from civilization as possible and start homesteading. Never say Reddit style again. It says it right here. I was just reading it verbatim. I felt the shiver down my spine after that. I'm just reading it verbatim, dude. I'm reading it as like all of it is. I know a guy who had a dream like this. He also gets mad when his Uber driver arrives late. Why is homesteading being pushed so much on social media and even here? Isn't the point of homesteading to be with your family in, <laughs> in ass fuck nowhere? Keep me out of it. Go make your sourdough alone and stay off my feed FFS. Most people who talk about homesteading could never do it. These types of people normally don't actually want to do any work homesteading. They just like the idea of control especially over their wife i mean living on the middle of nowhere depending on if you can actually survive is the difference although i do like the idea of owning land i want to buy some land one day just to have it i don't want to like build anything or whatever i just want to have like a huge couple of acres there's like a trees there's like a stream of water maybe some few little mounds hills some flowers i just want to leave it there 
Let nature take care of itself, as it's been doing. I temporarily lived in the forest in a small cabin with my dad and grandpa. It was fun. It sounds like a nice time. And there you learn how to, like, you know, how to fish, shoot a bow and arrow, make a campfire, sit in a rocking chair, how to brush my teeth in the river. Yeah, like a man. That's how men do it. Not these, like, little wusses, these little sissies who use, like, you know, fluoride toothbrush, their crest, little soft bristle toothbrushes, these little wimps. Nah. Brush your teeth in the river like a man. Let this be a good... Good post, not a duplicate, not something stupid. All right, the last post is r slash toxic rocks. Am I going to kill my kids' classmates if I send these to show and tell? Where they may contain arsenopyrite and galena. Nah, you'll be all right. Nah, these these rocks look safe. They're good. These look perfectly safe and fine rocks. All part of a balanced breakfast. You know, they, they say you need your minerals in your food. These rocks have plenty of minerals in them. So if anything, you should like shave off those rocks into dust, mix them into the kids' Cheerios, and then they'll get like all their vitamin A's and B's and L's and N's. Hey, are these rocks really bad? Like, you know, like they're bad for the body. I mean, these rocks I'm holding right now, are these rocks bad? Should I be touching these rocks? Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. You lazy, stupid bastards. Dude, it's called, what is this rock? No one in the comments is identifying it. Not a single person. You can respond, oh my god, they are highly toxic and shouldn't be in contact with human skin. I have to because no one in the, no one else in the subreddit is like explaining it. Yeah, useless subreddit, man. Come on. I'm not gonna comment that. I don't wanna like scare them unnecessarily. Okay, was that a good was that a good post to end on? That was pretty good. That was a good point to leave off. Nah.